Shake my tree. Is that the same vocalist that we just heard? Is this all David Coverdale doing the really low voice at the beginning and then just now, dude? This song is crazy in that intro. And the song's amazing already. Let's just get back into it. Holy crap. That is David Coverdale's voice. What? Okay, well. I am just so impressed. <laughs> okay, let's get back into it. Okay, okay, let's pause before we get into this part. Like, whoa, dude, this this song composition is crazy. It, like, who thought of this, like, composition? Boom, boom, boom. It sounds so powerful. When did this even come out? It sounds 90s. It sounds 90s. Coverdale page. Uh, Shake My Tree. Dude, and Coverdale's vocals, dude, it sounds like he's kind of rapping at times, too. Such a high register. He is so practiced. That is wild. 93. Okay, so just getting into the 90s. Dude, we are in the defining moments of the 90s, so let's just get back into the track. This is wild. The production is crazy. Lots of bass, dude. Uh, and the effects on the vocals are really cool, too.
Ooh, harmonic. Definitely leaving me wanting more, dude. Shake My Tree by Coverdale and Page. Fantastic, dude. I feel like the harmonica was a direct homage to Led Zeppelin, and it just made me feel no so nostalgic. Uh, and, you know, I heard a little bit of uh, Robert Plant in Coverdale's voice at the end there. Uh, dude, this was a great track. This was fantastic, dude. Shake My Tree by Coverdale Page. Uh, what did you think? <laughs> yeah, who was playing the harmonica on this one, dude? Uh, we might be able to find out on the wiki. Coverdale Page, Shake My Tree... The album is Coverdale slash page. Let's go to the wiki. That's my harmonica, dude. Uh, I think it was Jimmy Page who did harmonica um, on... Uh, okay, well, Shake My Trees, track number one. Okay, yeah, he did harmonica on track number one. Wait. No, 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 no. Okay, my bad. Who... He might have, actually. It says he did harmonica, but not on track. It only has him listed on number four as doing harmonica, but I'm just going to assume it was him because it was either him or John Harris. But it says he only did harmonica on number four, Pride and Joy. So... Boop, boop. 